Hail, hail, Hydra, and today is the time to make bow graceful build video. Yeah, I was thinking to do earlier, but I just wanna was pumping my great sword to 625. So yeah, let's begin. I will try to speak about gear, weapons, and powers. And maybe her throne. So first of all, gear is pretty simple. I'm using specifically shaking fortification and resilience as much as I can, at least resilient on all my five pieces. So shirking fortification and resilience, shirking resilience, shirking resilience, because shirking is OP. Everyone knows that. However, my pants is resilient and shirking energy. Maybe yeah, I'm trying to get Shirking Energy, Resilient, and uh, Shirking Fortification, but that's uh, expensive as hell. And I have only one perk for my Grace Sword, is Relentless Freedom. Activating Relentless Freedom removes roots and slows. Also increases Relentless Rush critical hit chance by 12%. So it's basically free escape from any kind of roots or slows. It's, it's, it's kind of OP. <laughs> Next, amulet, it's stamina recovery, that's because I, I like, we have a lot of stamina, so health, shirking and power, after the self dodging attack, obtain and power, why the hell not, ring is not best in slot, but I just need Heartly and mortal empowerment, which is embowment, so it makes sense, and uh, jewelry, healthy toast for more additional hit points, refreshing evasion, and nimble. Stamina again, why the hell not? Bow is one of the best. That's at least for me. I don't I'm don't use Kinley Jagged on Bow because I think it's not best. Uh Atoutment, Vicious Penetrating Rapid Shot. And Greatsword, Dexterity, Atoutment, Atoutment, I don't know how to pronounce all about that. Vicious and Kinley Jagged. And keep in mind I'm using all how it's called it rune glass gems for stamina so it have three second cooldown so one two three four five stamina every three second from armor and four stamina for weapon every three seconds so it's almost 10 more stamina it's it's kind of cool trust me it's working even if it's nerfed very hard it's still working let's move off to bow it looks like my bow build. Yeah, I, I'm just like speed. More speed. This one more speed. More speed. Actually, it's not more. This one and this one more speed. Because uh, back in days before big patch, if you buy, like, example, OPR speed food, you lose this haste and this haste. It's basically become only one second, what is kind of pointless. But now you're not losing to trust me. If you have this and this and you have speed food in OPR, you like a speedy Gonzalez. Of course, rapid shot. I like rapid shot. It's just top notch. All of these ones. More damage, more damage. I'm not the headshot boy. I, I don't like hitting headshot. So I'm not trying even use too much headshot. And explosive arrow. I'm not using glass pair because it's just... I have very small explosive radius, which is annoying killing people from corners. So if I'm not using glass pair, it's just better... If someone is hiding behind corner, you still can hit him pretty hard with his explosion. And let's go to Graceford. And now you say, Baby, why are you not using crosscut? It's so OP. Nah, fuck it. Fuck it. Sorry about that. I hate crosscut. It's bad in PvP. People just don't realize that. So I'm using Relentless Rush, Skyward Slash, and Stealthfast Strike. Thing is, which is OP because you get 40 stamina. If you hit one time, you will hit a second time because of stagger. Every time I connect with someone, enemy, I have 40 stamina. What can be better? Uh, Relentless Freedom, Relentless Rush. So gain 10 process and power for 10 seconds. And I'll also stand Relentless Rush, apply root for 1 second. In defense stance, heals for 15 percent of his damage so basically if i'm first using my defense stance and after 
I'm getting heal. But if I'm using first one of the uh, ability on DPS Paragon Three, it's rooting enemy. That's that's kind of nice, nice one. And of course, Kyber Slash because it is doing some nice damage plus one one rend. And it's have Stagger. So this have Skyver slash have Stagger and Speed Fast Speed Steve Fast Strike. Jesus, I can't pronounce this shit. About perks. Charge heavy attack have 15% armor penetration. Yeah, why the hell not? Gain 20% haste for 5 seconds using any DPS stance ability. Yeah, top notch. Keen poster. After Gaining also stands your next attack with 5 seconds has a 400 increased critical hit chance. So basically, this attack will be always have critical chance. I don't know why, but if you do this, this big attack will be always critical. Uh, even you can see on the screen. Uh, let's move on. Become energizer by landing a critical hit and regain 5 stamina and 5 Protein base, hey, base health per second for 5 seconds. So keep in mind, here is 5 stamina. Critical chance, it's 10% critical chance. Now move to top notch perk. After dodging, gain 10% empower for the next 3 hits with 10 seconds. Attacks empowered by this effect restore 10 stamina on hit. So let's calculate how much stamina I can regain. 5 stamina here. 10 stamina here. Even more if you just keep hitting. Because every hit is 10 stamina. Plus 10 stamina from my armor enchantment plus weapon. So it's just, it's just crazy what you can do. And I use, of course, a couple perks on defense stance. So if you are hit by full health, reduce the damage taken by 20%. Then gain a 20% fortification for 3 seconds. Top notch. Base damage is increased by 3 for each grades for both of you. That's it. It's not bad. And arrow deflection. Just why the hell not? At least now I can block bowmans or musket players. So everything is pretty simple. And of course, I'm using... Stone form Hertrun because people still not realizing how much powerful it is. A lot of people using detonate because of damage, but it will be nerfed, trust me, because it's really not healthy for a game to do almost 7k damage just because of one Hertrun. It's just too much. Let's be honest. So, why Hertrun is so good, at least why I like it, is basically 40% fortification. If somebody hitting me, so of course I'm in combat, everyone is hitting me. And you have immunes, like you 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 cleansing all your crowd control, so you lose all the buffs. You immune to stuns, staggers, slows. Nobody can't interrupt you for five seconds. If you see ice shower in front of you, and if it's enemy ice shower, you just Literally can pop Heratron and run through without stopping. That's why it's so damn powerful. Yeah, probably I'm losing damage, but it's just too much big gamble, I think, with Detonate, because it's still 3 second charge. If it will be insta damage, like just press button and it's doing damage, maybe it makes sense. But now you even can see when enemy is trying to detonate it. And yeah, he just running, you're just running away. Of course, keep in mind, always changes when you hit enemy. It's much more harder to survive because if you light armor, somebody hit you, you can't even dodge. You're dodging very, very low. So basically, at least what I'm doing, uh, my rotation in combat, let's say 1v1, I'm always keeping my relentless rush to save, to lose my slows or get out from roots. It's dependent on my opponent, of course. Because if I see Hatchet Boy who can't root me or something or slows me, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to use it. But basically just... And... 
I'm not big boy on heavies, but it's it's rotation, you know. Every single people is different, and it's hard to say what is best rotation for you or for me. At least I I know what is best for me, but it's hard to say what is best for you. But now let's speak about stamina. So as you see, well, oh, fucking hell, buggy, buggy everywhere. With all the stamina gems, people say it's not worth it. But when you're comparing with Grace Ward stamina abilities, just 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 look at my stamina. So, if you're smart enough, you will never be out of stamina. You can close your gap, you can run if you need. All I miss. So, that's the thing. Of course, shirking pants and other thing, but you can buy everything pretty much cheap. Even gear with shirking fortification resilience, is, it's pretty cheap, at least on medium. Outfit perk. It's no big deal. So, yeah, probably it's not best in slow build, but damn. It's, this build is doing crazy damage. Like, be aggressive, 200 con, because I, I'm just trying to play much more on range, on melee, I mean. So I need kind of con. The surprising enemies with this build. So, yeah, that's how it looks like my new... Favorite Grace Horde Bo Bill. Thank you for watching and see you on the next time. Baby's out. Bye bye.